What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing my second ever tier list video and this time it is going to be on Rey Mysterio figures, mainly from Mattel, actually entirely from Mattel, so let's get right on into it. Alright, so the five categories here are must have, go buy this figure, buy a hundred of them and keep them on your shelf, keep them loose, keep them mocked, do whatever you want to do with them. And then the second category is get two, this is one worthy of getting mock and having loose. Third category is keep it mock. It's cool enough to pick up, not cool enough to open up and display. Get the re-release. A bunch of these have been done once or twice. Get the re-release. And then the should have been elite category. I went through and picked out a bunch of basics and battle packs and other stuff that should have been elite figures based on how cool the gear designs were. But let's go ahead and get started with the Legends 16, I believe, Rey Mysterio. This is a must-have. This is his ECW One Night Stand gear. I think either from 2000, let's call it six. I could be wrong, correct me in the comments. This, I think this is 2006. But this figure is beautiful. I cannot wait to get this in hand. This is a brand new release. Definitely worth picking up. After that, we have the, I think this is the top picks in the pink and black gear. This is another one, must have. Like These are two of my favorite figures that they have like, made of Rey Mysterio. There's another one. There are actually two more on this list that have just been top-notch that are definite must-have, so stay tuned for those. Up next, we have one of his earlier Elites, and I do not know the series on the top of my head, but this is his Day of the Day, Day of the Dead gear, and simply get the re-release of this one. This figure is perfect, but they made it better. We'll get to it. After that, we have the Elite 100 Rey Mysterio. Brand new title, I think this is from his WCW days. I'm very excited about this. Actually, Elite 100 is getting a lot of hate because it's just, they, people say it's underwhelming. But we're getting a brand new title with every single figure. And for me, that's cool enough. Up next, we have, I think, another Top Picks Elite, Rey Mysterio. Um, it's the black and yellow gear. This one, I say keep it mock. That's just me. But you guys probably have a different opinion than I do, easily. Up next, we have the Elite 92 in the black and orange gear. I'm not a big, like, a big fan of the color orange, which is stupid. But this gear, just, like, something didn't do it for me. I wish the gloves, gloves and the, like, orange on the gear matched, but they didn't. And it came with a rubber shirt, so kind of a loss for me. But definitely worth picking up, as all of these are definitely worth picking up. Now we have the Day of the Dead re-release in the Greatest Hits line. Buy a million of these. This figure is top-notch, and it really doesn't get much better than this. I'm really excited to have this in hand when it eventually does come out. After this, we have the Elite 88 Ray Mysterio. This is the one with the eye patch, and I think this is an amazing figure, too. Definitely must have. A lot of these figures seem to be like on that line, if that makes sense. I don't know, like, I could be wrong, but I'm I'm down with all of them. Here's the Ruthless Aggression Rey Mysterio. This one, I would just keep it mock. I, I don't have a need in my collection for the all-white gear Rey Mysterio, but somebody else might. So, I don't want to take away from them, if that makes sense. But the figure is still cool, and it represents the time when I first started watching wrestling. After this, the Batman gear. Another top picks, I think. Wow. Um, go buy it. Must have. Yes. Uh, it's perfect. This is actually the gear that he won, or he wore when he won the tag titles with Dominic, and they made that Dominic in a basic. So it's one of those, if you're a Raven Serial fan, you got to have it just for like sentimental value alone. Up next, we have the Royal Rumble Elite, I do believe, or Survivor Series. Let's go Survivor Series. I could be wrong. But it is the all red gear of Rey Mysterio. I'd keep it mock. I, I don't see a need for this one either, really. But, I mean, it is cool nonetheless. After that, we have Elite 72, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. And his black and green gear. Uh, keep it mock. I This one, compared to the first release they made when he got like back in the company... This one you can pass on, in my opinion. But the one that happened when he first got back to the company is an easy have. This figure is top-notch in his Saudi Arabia gear. That figure is 
perfect. And the only thing I wish they would have done different is if they would have gave him the shirt that he wore, like the molded upper body. But beggars can't be choosers, but that figure is really good. Then we have the first throwback Rey Mysterio figure that we ever got. This one, I say go buy two. I don't personally see it as a must-have, but that is just me. But it is a solid figure nonetheless. Let's do the Batman, Rey Mysterio, and Kofi Kingston battle pack next. Definitely should have been an elite. I think you guys agree with that. The Batman, Rey Mysterio is pretty freaking sick. So... Definitely get like pick it up if you have a chance to see if you can convert it to an elite. Up next, let's do another one of his earlier elites. It is the gold and white gear with the blue shirt. And the only reason I would pick this one up personally is for the shirt. So I guess get two so you can open one up, take the shirt, put it on any Ray Mysterio figure you want. But that's just that's my own personal opinion. And uh, yeah, pretty much it. Then we have the black and purple Gear Ray Mysterio. These early versions of his figures just do not hold up compared to the stuff that we are getting nowadays. This one, just keep it mock. I don't really see a need for it. That's just me. Then we have the best of 2011 Ray Mysterio and the kind of like white, red, green, and black gear. I don't personally like this one i like the one that they made that had the uh the white leg and the white arm which is this one here this one get to that's an easy get to but i don't like this one and i guess keep it mock but they also made this figure already so get the re-release of that one to get the best of 2011 version let's do another basic we have his like neon sign style gear is very big fan of this figure and definitely should have been an elite figure a huge missed opportunity along with the entrance greats Rey Mysterio which is usually everybody's like favorite figure of his you take those accessory pieces and you put them on an elite and you got a nice nice figure but let's go and do the new SummerSlam wave with the build of Dominic this is a very iconic gear this is definitely a get to this is from his ladder match with Eddie Guerrero, which we got the matching gear for that. And it comes with Baby Dominic if you build it with the whole wave. So I, any Rey Mysterio fan has to complete this one. Let's do the yellow and blue. I think this was Network Spotlight Target exclusives. I do not like this one, even though this one is the re-release. I like the original yellow and purple Elite from back in the day. That is an easy get to. That's a beautiful figure out of the packaging. And I sadly cannot find my own personal version of this figure. But that yellow and purple is really, really nice. Then we have the Mysterio Rey Mysterio from his match against Samoa Joe at WrestleMania 35, I believe. Easy must have. That figure is really good in hand. And I definitely recommend anybody pick it up because that figure is so nice especially with the cape the gloves the details everything definitely go pick it up after that we have elite 67 maybe of his halloween havoc gear this is an easy must have for any Rey mysterio collector as this is from his classic match with eddie guerrero from back in the day we have the matching elite for that and it comes with the cruiserweight title then we have his red blue and black and yellow elite Easy must-have. One of my personal favorite Rey Mysterio figures that have been made entirely. I don't think you can go wrong with that one. It's still to this day, it's one of my favorite ones to pose around. Then we have his neon green and black gear. A lot of people love this one. Me personally, not one of my favorites. Just get it to keep it mocked. Then we have his avatar gear from WrestleMania 26, I think. Get two. I wish I had one of these mock, and I wish I had one of them loose. And see, sadly, I have neither one of them. But my girlfriend's favorite movie is Avatar, and I definitely need to pick up this figure in my collection because I love that they do some of the movie-style gears of him. Let's do the Tribute to the Troops Rey Mysterio Basic. Definitely shouldn't have been an Elite. It would have looked really cool with the digital camo pants. Then this, like, smash and bend or something with the white and blue should have been an Elite. Beautiful uh, attire. Then the mystery attire should have been an elite. Along with the white and red, one of my favorite gears of him. This is when he won the WWE Championship, believe it or not. 
in 2011. But my favorite Rey Mysterio figure that has been released is the yellow and pink Macho Man inspired gear. And I don't think you can find a better one than that personally. And that is my favorite one. And that rounds out our tier maker. So fill out your own version of this down in the description below. Leave a comment what I got right, what I got wrong, and where you guys would put something. But that's going to do it for today. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And last but not least, take it easy. Thanks.